In the early 60s, President Kennedy faced the worst crisis in his administration when missiles showed up in Cuba supplied by the Russians. Well, now the Russians are back with warships and nuclear submarines patrolling off the Florida coast. Why are they there? And what can we do about it? Michael Flynn has an answer. I, I want to touch, General, on what you mentioned about Cuba. I'm perplexed about this. It, it's, it's like deja vu, and John Kennedy is in the White House, and we have another Cuban Missile Crisis, except instead of Russia sending missiles to Fidel Castro, Russia is delivering the systems to literally hit the southern United States. There, As you said, there's nuclear ships there. They're fully armed. They're patrolling off the Florida southern coast. Is this about a pushback on Biden for his support of Ukraine? Or is it something else that I don't understand? You know, this administration, uh, and, and I, I will say that there have been others too. You cannot underestimate a great power like Russia. I mean, Russia's military and Russian decision-making about what their, you know, the threats to their sovereignty are very real and we cannot underestimate them. And that's why I say the enemy has a vote. Putin made the decision Okay, you, you want to mess around in my neighborhood, America? You want to send missiles and you want to allow these missiles, these American made missiles or these American, you know, procured missile systems that you're giving to Ukraine to fire into, into Russia to kill Russians? You want this to happen? Then I'll tell you what, what we're going to do is we're going to come to your neighborhood and we're going to present a threat to you and you keep this up. Believe me, we have so many problems inside this country right now. Some of them are military age men that we have no clue where they're at. And many of them are aligned to China. Many of them are aligned to Russia. Many of them are aligned to this radicalized Islamic crowd called Hamas and Hezbollah right here in our homeland. Those offensive weapon systems that, that were just brought into uh, the area of Cuba, they don't just range Miami or Tampa they, or, or New Orleans. They can range Nebraska. I mean, they, those are powerful, powerful offensive capabilities and this is far worse than the Cuban Missile Crisis that you highlighted in the, uh, in the, in the early 60s. And far worse, because these are much greater capabilities. This is a much different Russia. This is a nation that, uh, that also feels very threatened because of what we are doing over in Europe. So there's a consequence. There's a consequence to foolish decisions. And we have made very foolish decisions um, you know, in Europe and and you know no there's no there's no stated objectives for what we're doing over in the ukraine and somebody will go well we're going to keep russia at bay we have to stop the russians from from expanding into into europe the russians want they want nothing to do with expansion in, in 1994 the budapest accords meteoron thatcher uh, gorbachev and bush sat at a table and agreed that there would be no further russian or no further nato expansion onto the frontiers of uh, of russia and then we agreed to that. And what do we do? We, we violated all that and we've been continuing that. Now we're talking about bringing Ukraine into NATO. I mean, this is crazy, this is crazy. And, it, and, and so Russia, which is a very capable nation who, who we, stood at, we stood at bay with for 40 years called the Cold War, right? They haven't lost much of their abilities. They still have one of the, they, in fact, they have the largest nuclear uh, force in the in the world, they have they have significant military capabilities, significant weapon systems that now parked in Cuba, you know. And the Chinese are there, by the way. I want to remind people that the Chinese have established listening posts and operating bases in uh, Cuba to be able to operate from Cuba into the United States. We have a hundred thousand military age Chinese men in this country right now that came in through the southern border. They're already here. We don't have a border problem, folks. We have an illegal problem. And, and God knows where these illegals are all over the country. Who's coordinating with them? Who's commanding and controlling them? I mean, how are, what are they going to be? Are they going to function if they're asked to do something on behalf of China or Russia? Remember, the enemy has a vote. And, and why should they 
continue to fight in their neighborhood when they can fight in our neighborhood.